Hello, my name is Dr. Shantanu Sen and I am a consultant in pediatric hematology and oncology here at Koki Lab in Dhirubhai Ambani Hospital. I will talk today about hemophilia which is a genetic disease caused by a gene mutation that's carried on an X chromosome. So what happens is that if a patient has this defect on their X chromosome, then they don't make a very essential clotting factor which is needed for the blood to clot. And if they don't make that clotting factor, then they have very easy bleeding, they get bruising, they can bleed easily when they have a tooth extraction, or if they fall, they can get severe hemorrhages. Now there's a misconception that this is a disease that's only seen in males. And while certainly it's true that the vast majority of hemophilia patients are males, there is a small percentage of female patients as well. Why is this? It's because if you remember what I said, that this is a disease where is a, the genetic defect is on the X chromosome. So what happens in females who carry two copies of the X chromosome, XX, the normal chromosome takes over the function of the defective chromosome. So which means the normally a female who has one copy of the defective gene, i.e. that she is a carrier, she will not have any symptoms. She will be otherwise well, but she will kind of pass on the defective gene to her children. So what it means is that for a carrier female, her sons, at least 50% of her sons who will have that one copy of that X chromosome can get the disease. So what it means is that a female who has two copies of the X chromosome and if she has one defective copy, i.e. she's a carrier, then she can pass on that defective copy to her sons, in which case he will become a diseased person or she might pass on that X chromosome to her daughter, in which case the daughter also would become a carrier. Now normally with a carrier, doesn't have much problems but should somebody of a, a lady who is a carrier of the disease gets married to a patient then the female her daughters would carry two copies of the defective gene which means she would also get the disease and yes it's very rare but we know of cases where it has happened and sometimes you can also have a genetic mutation that can happen which can lead on to the disease happening in a girl. So, though it is certainly true that hemophilia as a disease is almost seen exclusively in the male members of a family, it is not unlikely that sometimes we can get a lady who can get the disease. So, what happens if you are a carrier and what happens if you are a diseased? So if you are a carrier of hemophilia, which we see in girls, then usually they are well, but they can have slightly heavier periods. And that's usually is the extent of the problem. But if they carry both defective copies of the gene, then they also show each and every sign of the disease, which means easy bruising, bleeding, and they would also need treatment and factor replacement as a lifelong process.